Hello, and welcome to Chicken Bros. My name is David Heath. And I'm Hothead. I mean, Dormammu. <laughs> nice. And me and Noah have decided to try something where we take those videos where we talk about one specific character and put it into its own series called Character Files. Dum -dum -dum. Oh, wait, no, that's um, ER. Or, I mean, uh, Law and Order. Was the, how did the Forensic Files theme go? I don't remember. Uh, my, mom, my grandma and my mother used to watch it all the time. How did it go? Oh, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. So, this video, if you couldn't tell by the picture, is about a specific Spider-Man villain. My... One of my favorites, though I can't tell you why. Cletus Cassidy, a.k.a. Carnage. Carnage! That's the Maximum Carnage theme song. Uh, uh, yeah, you would know. Oh, yeah. I played that game. Um, and it's fucking expensive nowadays. Oh, yeah, because it's for the SNES. Well, no, the, the Sega Genesis version is expensive, too. Well, yeah, but those are really old consoles. Yeah, but I can get... I could get all the Sonic... Or, excuse me. Well, all the Sonic games, yes. But all the Sega Genesis games I got, I got for $5 or under. Huh. And there were things like Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, the original Mortal Kombat. Right. So, um... I figured we should, like, break down how Carnage came about in the comics. For those who don't know... It's well, he knows better. I only know, basically, the symbiote itself is the spawn of the Venom symbiote. Right, yes. and um, It is the, it is bo it bonded to a murderer named Cletus Cassie, who is completely psycho. Right, a psychopath who finds complete joy out of tormenting or killing others. And my child development background leads me to theorize that he's the way he is because he had a really shitty home life growing up. Most likely that is the case, yes. And, of course, it bonds like a match made in hell, and Carnage is born. As Spider-Man said in the 90s series, he, he bonded so completely with it that they don't refer to themselves as we, like Venom does. It's a complete I thing. Yeah, I am Carnage, not we are Carnage. Which, if you ask me, makes Carnage just a tiny bit scarier. Oh, yeah. Also, his design is freaking it's, like, it's I love great, it. wrong, but it's but impossible it's to draw. It's fucking scary, too. Like, the tendrils, the fact that he can turn his hands into weapons. Those teeth. His, ja yeah, his jagged mouth. It's crazy. The way, the way his eyes are. Yeah, it's crazy. I love crazy. it, don't get me wrong. I have, I have a mask of Carnage for that exact reason, because I love his design so much, but God. <laughs> damn, is it scary. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... When we were talking about doing this video, Noah said he didn't know a whole lot about the lore of Carnage. Not really. Which I am more than happy to pass on what I do know. Um, let's talk about Maximum Carnage, because uh, I know that the comic book that I ordered is uh, based off of that video game. Well, the video game is based off of that comic book, actually. Yes. And yes. so what, what happens in it is that Carnage is in Ravencroft being experimented on like a guinea pig until they accidentally let his blood loose and the Carnage symbiote envelops him again and he murders every single doctor in sight and yada 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 he's escaped and he found some friends along the way marvel villains who i'm not sure you'll recognize by name shriek and doppelganger shriek i know is the name of another symbiote right no she's a villain who can shriek loud like, like almost like banshee. oh so she's like um almost like banshee i was gonna say something there was, there was a villain the scream queen from dc comics Something like that, yeah. Or, uh, or, uh, there are two Banshees. There's the Banshee from Marvel Comics, and then there's the Silver Banshee, who is a Superman villain, who is Irish, yay. Ooh. But her powers are like a family curse. No, and it only affects the women in the family. No, Shriek can just scream loud, and it does damage. Again, that's kind of Banshee-ish, except yeah. Banshee is an Irishman who uses his mutant powers for the good of mankind. Right. He'd be a kick-ass Aerosmith, Aerosmith lead. Right. But Doppelganger, you don't know. No, I do not. Doppelganger, let me try to paint a picture. Doppelganger looks like if Spider-Man had six arms and a Venom mouth. Oh, yeah, him I know. I have a combo with him in it. Oh, yeah, that guy. That freaky thing. <laughs> that fucking monster. I don't know where the heck he came from, by the way. Me either, but he's fucking scary. It looks like Spider-Man, Doc Doc, and Venom had a very unfortunate threesome. Or if, 
or that man spider thing that was going on with Spidey. That, that actually might have something to do with it now that you say it out loud. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Um, but uh, Carnage got out and was looking for a rematch with Spider-Man and Venom. It's Apparently that storyline is part of that comic. Remember that comic I showed you where Carnage threw a baby out a window and Venom caught it and Venom started cooing it? Yep. That was just... I mean, I get it. Like, Venom protects the innocent. He's not a straight-out villain. I just think it's hilarious seeing something as frightening as Venom going, Gucci, Gucci, goo. <laughs> Hush, little baby, don't you cry. We're gonna get you a new daddy, I swear to God. <laughs> I don't, or we swear to God. <laughs> I love that! Um, yeah, and uh, Carnage apparently is super strong, because he was able to grab both Spider-Man and Venom and conk their heads together. <gasps> that was funny because uh, Venom and Spider-Man tried to dogpile on him and, and Carnage sarcastically was like, oh no, I'm too strong, I'm too weak for this. Not. Tunk. Wow, 90s much? Yeah, well that was a 90s comic. I'm just saying. Yeah. And, uh, I'm not too familiar with Carnage's recent uh, exploration of character, but I know I know for a fact he's still a murderous, crazy motherfucker. I think there was one comic where he uh, sexually abused somebody. E I think via the symbiote. E but the Carnage symbiote itself has made its way into multiple different characters, like Spider Carnage, the Red Goblin. That was horrifying. The idea of Spider Carnage is pretty whack, too. Yeah. I think he has his own car uh, comic series now, Carnage. I just don't. Know, I just don't know if it's Cletus Cassidy. He is a very popular character, so. It but that but that awesome. video game was fun. I never actually got to Carnage. I, the only boss I could get to was Doppelganger. Mm. Other than that, like the regular levels are just side-scrolling beat 'em ups. Oh. Yeah. And apparently Hobgoblin's in that game. Ooh. Um. I don't know if... I don't know. Okay, so remember in the 90s series when him and Eddie were cellmates? Yeah. I don't know if that was from the comics. In fact, I don't, I don't even know. Like, I don't think I know the proper comic book origin. I just know what I know from the 90s series. Yeah, I got you. What you gotta think about, like, going back to his design, I feel sorry for the poor bastard who had to animate that. Or the, or the poor soul who had to draw that so many times in a comic book panel. Right. Week or bi-monthly. It's crazy. He's a very difficult character to draw. It's difficult. See. Si. And I, and I know from experience because I've drawn them a couple times. It's crazy. Yeah, a couple. Yeah, only a couple. <laughs> yes. So that is Carnage. I don't know. Yep. Do we do we give characters ratings on character files? Mm, did we ever? Did we? I don't think no, because we didn't really give Spider-Man a rating. We did our six-part video on him. That's a good point. So, I guess just, uh... He's one of my favorite villains. Can't really tell you why. And he's one of my favorite villains, and it's purely because of his design. Well, see you next time on Character Files and on Chicken Bros. And whatever we do. Right. <laughs>